your enemies don't even know what hit them. Welcome to the Mindset Elevator, everybody. Thank you so much for being here, stopping on this video and going up with me level by level as we get to where we want to be. All right. Thank you guys so very much for the support. Thank you so much to my new subscribers, those who have been subscribed and all those who stop in once in a while. All of you, all of your presences are heavily appreciated here on this elevator ride. Let's keep ascending. Let's keep going higher. We're bound for greatness. Okay. A lot of your enemies could not prepare. They did not have the time to be able to have a rebuttal or a comeback when they saw what you were doing, all right? When they realized or caught wind of what you were up to, your enemies, it was already a losing battle. It was a losing situation. They were not able to catch up. They were not able to, you know, beat you to it. Your enemies have failed to realize that you've been making your own way. Your enemies have failed to realize that you are simply too focused. Your enemies have failed to realize that you're not in a direct competition with them. You've been in your own lane for the whole time and your enemies, because a lot of them are superficial, shallow, and not really broad-minded, they've not been thinking that maybe, just maybe, you're on to bigger and better things. Maybe, just maybe, you're very focused and you know what you want and you know, right, that you have to be resilient. They didn't know that these were the components of you. They had no idea it was like this. So your enemies were caught off guard. You know what I mean? Because the thing about an enemy is that they want to be able to strike. They want to be able to prepare, to prepare and to have enough ammo to strike right? So if you're the type of person who is unpredictable and you keep your enemies on their toes, your enemies do not know when to strike or how effectively to get at you, how effectively to approach you, right? So this is the thing about it. You move in a mysterious type of way. You move in the type of way that is not trackable. It's not, you know, it's not, there is no rhyme or reason to the ways that you do things. You just do things the way that you do. You understand? But your enemies thought that they had you figured out. And therefore, once again, if they have you figured out, they have that ammo, they can come at you and they can attack you in the way that they feel fit. But they've not been able to recently. They've been getting, you know, dead end after dead end recently. They've been told multiple times and warned multiple times not to mess with you. All right. But your enemies, they could not have prepared for this. You caught them off guard. All right. Your enemies need the fuel to come at you and to fight you. Because a lot of times, in my opinion, I believe the enemies are weak-minded, all right? The enemies do not see things for how they really are, and they do not go deeper. They, say, they stay very surface level. They'll attack you for your appearance. They'll attack you for, you know, your work ethic. They'll attack you for the place you live, the money you make. That's all they can ever do is attack the little things, all right? They attack the superficial things. And they didn't think or believe or want to understand or want to believe that you were deeper than that. All right. So when you come out and you're popping out and you're moving a little bit deeper, moving a little bit more mysterious, the enemies can't really prepare for this because they're not like this. You know what I mean? So they cannot get up to your level and they cannot match that because that spirit is not there. They do not have the spirit. Therefore, they have to fall back. They have to admit defeat. Right. Right. You've left your enemies in a state of disarray. Your enemies cannot effectively attack you because you change a lot, you know, and you're deeper and you have a big mind. Whereas the enemies oftentimes have a surface level mind. They only see things for what they believe, you know, what they see is what they think it is, right? And they don't think it's anything deeper, but we know what's really going on. The enemies don't have a clue. You know what I mean? They can't navigate this. So... The thing about it as well, when you have to understand, when you when your enemies are caught off guard, right, that means that you're doing something well. That means that you're doing something new. You're some, there's something about you that's different, right? Your enemies, because maybe they've been successful in other battles, right, that they think you're going to be an easy target. Once again, because they're just scanning you and they think, oh, yeah, got him. 
You know what I mean? Got her. I know we know what to do. We know how to approach them. We know how to shake them, right? But then it doesn't happen. They do not get the results that they're expecting that worked on everybody else out here. It's because they see now you're not like everybody else out here. All right. So you got your enemies a little bit blindsided here. You got them a little shook. Like, like, what do we do? You know what I mean? Like, how do we approach him now? And also understanding that when it doesn't work out their way, they look kind of crazy out here. All right. And oftentimes that's one of their goals to make you look kind of crazy. Right. And to try to attack you and be like, hey, we didn't do nothing. Right. Throw the rocks, hide their hands. Those are the type of games they like to play. They sneak around, they lurk, they watch, they have watchers working for them, all right? And in the end, anytime they try to approach you, they see that it's you're dodging it. It's not working because you're 10 steps ahead. Keep staying 10 steps ahead, all right? You know what I mean? Keep growing your mind and learning different ways to do things, learning different ways to live this life, all right? You are not a one-dimensional being. There are so many layers to you, and your enemies see that. You know what I mean? But they still try. They still take that gamble. It's a very risky venture here. When anybody tries to come at you and they're trying to throw daggers at you in any which type of way and they're, they're seeing that it's not working, their target is not being hit successfully because you're not to, meant to be hit. You're not meant to be maimed. You're meant to grow. You're meant to, you know, be triumphant and your enemies are going to have to accept that. And if they can accept that, well, we know what's going on. It's something internally within themselves that they got to figure out. That's not your problem. You know what I mean? So understand, though, that a lot of your enemies are feeling kind of shaken up because they cannot effectively track you. They cannot effectively attack you. They cannot effectively come at you because you're somebody who's 10 steps ahead. Very mysterious, very graceful as well in this way keep doing your thing, everybody. Thank you so much for stopping by on this elevator ride. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if you feel like your enemies are, you know, your enemies are upset because they can't get at you. Have you cut off access to the people around you who are not good for your life? Do you feel like they're reacting negatively because of it? Do you feel like perhaps they are flustered or, you know, worried, concerned, nervous about you now because they cannot, they cannot attack you now. Let it be known in the comments. Let's get the community uh, buzzing right now with this, with these questions here. Okay. Thank you guys so much for the ongoing support. I love you guys all very, very much. Thank you so much for helping this elevator grow. I'm humbly, humbly uh, thankful for this, appreciative of this, and I love all of you guys so much. Keep working on yourselves, okay? Keep going up and have a wonderful day. Bye.